So one thing I like to see right away, like the, the flame self-extinguishing, you get what we call afterglow in these situations. So it just heats up so much that it, it almost looks like it's on fire, but the fabric sort of glows just like embers in a, in a fire. But um, yeah, so that's good. We saw it kind of snuff out really quick like that. That's what we look for. This is one of the interesting things when you talk about fibers. When you take a treated cotton, treated cottons do really well for what they're rated for. So let's say you have a 12 cal treated cotton shirt. It does really good up to 12 cal. But when you start to push them past what they're rated for, they have like this point where they start to do really bad. Most of your inherents and your aramids, one of the things I like about them is as you push them, they still perform pretty good. You may, you may get burned, but they still kind of snuff out. They, they do pretty good. Treated cotton, after a certain point, they just, you've used up all the treatment and they just burn. And, and you see this a lot um, when you're testing. You're, trying, you're always trying to get this, this, this high arc rating. And so you're constantly trying to just a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. And, and when you do those shots that are in the upper end, the treated cotton's kind of struggle. So that's why we like inherence and hair the most. So thank you, DuPont. Thank you. Was that loud enough? Yeah. That would be good. Okay. Getting there. Getting there. So we have one more. We have a we challenge. Have 140 that we, do. we did bring 140 and, and, um, suit though. Believe it or not, we, we can't get a burn on it. The lab is not capable of getting high enough to get a burn. So we tested all the way up to 170 cal. We don't rate it at 170 cal, but we feel real comfortable at 140. So that's kind of why we put it. Put it there so we do um we kind of have to go off the reservation from a, a testing standpoint because we don't have a way to get a true ATP. so we, we just go really really high and we don't get any burns and then we sort of de-rate it um, yeah. yep. That's what we want to know, because I guess the, the goal is to find something that's FR, is it? You, the, 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 the hard part here is it's, it's this thin strip, right? It's so like getting, you oh, never quite oh. know how much of the arc is going to get it direct. Yeah, so we're gonna, if it's, we're, we're trying our, we're going to try our right best on, to get them to take it direct. Point. So anything that's fault protection. Oh, well, 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 there's so much mass there. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's so quick. Honestly, that's, you know, a lot of times these things are, these are just, polyester sometimes. I don't know what yeah. this particular one is, but it's so dense. Yeah. You know, it, it'll melt sort of on the surface, yeah. but it's, it's still enough to stay intact from the drop. The question is, what could it hold when you drop it? Well, right. That's, that's what we're going to do later. So, right so you do a 40 cal arc on them, and then you go do a drop test. So you have yeah. a weighted mannequin, a, a standard kind of average human weight right. mannequin. Is it working? Got a headache. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to do the next one. We didn't have a cotton indicator, and this has already seen a lot of arc flashes, but you can look on the inside, and it looks Got a little hot spot right there. Otherwise, this this would have been right on top of the bin. There's a lot of arc flash shoot designs, folks, that that actually go up to the hip only. Like, don't. I, I, for me personally, I would want to have this because then it covers my vital organs. But you can see how this hot spot here would have been covered, like right there. There's nothing that corresponds behind this. So it would have stopped right there. It wouldn't have went through. So this gives you an extra overlapping protection. And, and the hood too, remember how the hood looked. So you have this layer, plus you have the coat, plus you have the bibs over your vital organs. There's potential, potential for flying debris as well and projectiles that could hit you like, like shrapnel from, from a explosion. So having layer on layer of Kevlar that's built into the suit will add that extra protection for the workers. There's a lot of suits today that are very thin, new fabric technology, 
they don't have the same mechanical strength as this Aramid does from, from Dupont. It's shrinking because you have that One thing to be lightweight, it's another thing to you know survive with very little or no injuries. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hundred cal on the outside, on the inside it was barely anything. That's all from afterglow. That's all from previous tests on the face and everything. Yeah. 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 No fault of the hundred cal suit. We've been this guy he, he's going through a lot today. This guy's yeah. going through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially with too. three at home in it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that GoPro video is gonna be neat to see it's, for sure. This is like the yeah, we have a lot of mannequins, so they have this this was our nineteenth box test. We did a bunch yesterday, today. Thank <laughs> you. 